Welcome to chapter five. This is on the lymphatic system and we have uh, basically six learning objectives that we're going to be looking at and so we're going to go ahead and open up with uh, this particular chapter and we're going to present you with a problem and the question is what's the problem and you can notice here the patient's leg is really huge and full of fluid and look at this hand here. Um, these patients typically have an imbalance called lymphedema, which is accumulation of too much lymphatic fluid in the limbs. You see something like this typically, and uh, it may be a woman who's had breast cancer. She's had one breast removed. She also had the lymph nodes around that breast removed. And then when the lymph nodes are taken away, you can get major circulation problems like this with fluid accumulating in the limbs. So our opening discussion question I want you to think about is then what does the lymphatic system do? You may be already able to guess one thing that it does just by looking at those last pictures, which is, you know, taking away fluid from the limbs. So we got a problem. We have, we have a situation like that. What's happening is the blood capillaries that we studied in the last chapter um, are known to be very leaky. This is because they're one cell thin. And so they leak blood plasma, that's basically water. And they leak about three liters of it. So that's a two liter Coke bottle plus a half of another two liter Coke bottle every day in each one of us. And the problem is that all this fluid goes down to your legs, your feet, your arms, your hands, and it has to get returned. And the question is then how? How does it get returned? Because we need help. We need it to get back up to the body. Well, we can throw you a rescue life ring because, uh, ta-da, it's a lymphatic system that's here to the rescue. And this is basically, I hate to put it like this, but it's true. When we say it's a system of drainage ve vessels, it's kind of like a, the city sewage. And so all the sewage runs down the drains and eventually gets returned to the main water supply in the city. Same thing for our body, basically. And here's basically how it works in a nutshell. This is what we studied in the previous chapter right here arteries and veins and the heart. Well, the lymphatic system does not have a heart attached to it. Although the lymphatic system does kind of tie in right here to our subclavian veins. And so it's a one-way system. So this green that represents here, the lymphatic system, works from your feet and takes the lymphatic up, the body up, 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 up. So subclavians near the heart and dumps it back in. And when I say dumps it, I'm talking about the blood plasma, water, back into our circulatory system. And this helps keeps us, keeps us hydrated. This is a zoom in on the capillary beds and they've got intertangled lymphatic vessels all in here to help wick up the extra fluid from your ankles and your feet, this tissue over here. And you zoom in a little bit more, this is like just one of these little pieces right here on the ends. And what you have is like a little uh, root and it's anchored down by a little piece of connective tissue and it's got little bitty mini valves. You see these little cracks here, 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 and here. And when you move, these little mini valves open up and they wick up and suck up, you know, some lymph and it begins the process of moving up, 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 and all the way up, back up to the heart. 